Hello everyone, AJ here, and today we review a very popular workout logger called FitBot. And for the purposes of this review, we will be looking at the iPhone version of the application. This app is also available for your Apple Watch and other Android devices if you are not part of the Apple ecosystem. Let's get into it. You are able to create and set different gym profiles in order to assist the app in generating workouts for you that you have no limitations in performing. You can modify your gym profile based only on equipment you have available to you in your gym. From this screen, you can also set additional details such as your fitness experience, if you wish to use warm-up sets, if you wish to limit your workout duration, any exercises you wish to exclude altogether, and much more. FitBot in turn will take all of these settings into consideration when creating workouts or when suggesting exercises to you. You can create and store multiple gym profiles. This could be useful for those who train in both a home gym and commercial gym environments. From the workout tab, you are presented with all of the details of your next planned workout. The one you see here was created by the FitBot AI based on my selected gym profile. You can choose to start this specific workout or create a new one, or select a different pre-created workout altogether. You can have FitBot's AI simply regenerate the current workout presented on your workout tab, or make some adjustments on which muscle groups, starting exercises, or just create your own manual workout from scratch. The FitBot AI can also generate workouts based on specific training splits, such as push, pull, legs, upper or lower, core specific, body weight only, dumbbell only, or equipment specific workouts are all available options as well. Let's create our own workout from scratch. When adding exercises, you can filter by muscle or exercise categories, or just simply search for the exercise you are looking for. Once you have selected your exercises, you can choose to group these exercises into a circuit, timed intervals, warm up or cool downs, or just add them as individual exercises. You can add your warm up and working sets individually with the tap of a button. In addition, different rest timers can be assigned to every single set. Once you have set all of your details, you can save your workout for future use. If you wish to replace an exercise in your workout, the FitBot AI will also provide you with a list of best replacement suggestions. Logging live workouts is simple to do. Tap Start Workout to get started. You can build supersets at the click of a button. You can view exercise demos with pressing and holding onto the exercise. You will also be presented with a list of equipment required. You can log every set individually or all at once by tapping the option. You can add or reduce the timer by the tap of a button. Modifying set details is also simple and I especially like the large fonts within the interface and on the timer as well. Scrolling all the way down gives you additional options for the exercises, including achievements or PRs. You can log your exertion rating, which is basically your reps in reserve. The achievement screen provides you with a list of your PRs and exercise history. Once you finish your workout, you are presented with the option to sync your data with Apple Health, Strava, or Fitbit. A workout summary is also available displaying any PRs you may have achieved within this workout. After you have completed your workout, FitBot will generate your next workout automatically. All workout history can be viewed under the Log tab. Your Recovery tab is a great place to review which muscles have been worked recently and which need some more rest, along with estimates on how much more rest is required before you can work those muscles again. You are able to adjust recovery periods per muscle using sliders based on your own estimates and experiences. You are also able to view recent exercises performed for specific muscles. The exercise library has well over 900 different exercises, covering a wide range of choices such as barbell, dumbbell, trap bar, easy bar, TRX, mini bands, cardio and specialized gym equipment, as well as many more. Most exercises come with demo videos, which are viewable in multiple angles, and video play speeds can be adjusted as well. Detailed written instructions are also available, 
along with which muscle the specific lift targets, and the equipment required to perform the lift. You are able to view your achievements for individual lifts as well as exercise history. If you cannot find the exercise you want, then you are out of luck. There is no way to create your own custom exercises within this application. No ability to group workouts into routines by folders. All saved workouts show up under the same view and as individual workouts. If using both Android and iOS devices, then you may be disappointed to hear that both ecosystems are treated as separate platforms and you cannot sync your data between them. If looking for a workout logger that offers a freemium model, in addition to a paid subscription, then FitBot is not for you. No real way of completely turning off the AI, for those who wish to do their own thing. This application seems to be for someone new to the gym, or someone who loves to have an app generate workouts and routines for them, while automatically adjusting them based on their progress. This is not only a workout app, but a personal trainer in your pocket. If you are looking for an app to dictate all aspects of your training, then this app may be a great companion on your fitness journey. If you prefer to dictate and micromanage all aspects of your own training, then this app is definitely overkill. The built-in AI may also work against you at times. When signing up for an account, you have the ability to log three workouts before hitting the subscription paywall. This is considered part of the trial. If you would like to extend that to a one month free trial, be sure to check out the details on screen on how to do this. After the trial expires, this becomes a paid only application. For a yearly subscription to FitBod, you're looking at $79.99 USD, or you can pay $12.99 USD per month if you prefer rather than committing to a full year.